in an era where the MMO genre is on its last legs, regress back to a simpler time by paying $15 a month to play a 15-year-old video game. World of Warcraft Classic. Rediscover the game that changed a genre from a playground of innovation and new concepts to a factory line of games trying to be the next WoW killer by copying it and tweaking like one thing. While WoW itself just piled on expansions like a video game shanty town, becoming a bloated mess that feels more like a theme park than ever, shedding the simple charms of the original for achievements, passive pet Pokemon, and other weird time sinks. In a design cluster f that makes it clear why they said, eh, you know what, screw it, let's just put out old WoW again. And you know what, it works, we're all a bunch of massive rubes. Explore the wilds of Azeroth for the first time, uh, uh again as you revisit your favorite locations from the pre-cataclysm world map. Then close the window and reinstall all the mods to make the game remotely playable again. And sigh deeply as you remember how long you will actually be grinding in these zones. Or the literal 20 minutes you have to run to get your character's flight path set up. In a molasses slow leveling process that you probably had a lot more time for 15 years ago. Holy sh**. I've been level 11 for like three hours. I'm pretty sure this is what dying feels like. Feel the cockles of your heart warm with tender memories as you relive all the charming inconveniences of classic WoW. Like dead zones where you run out of quests and just have to grind. Wacky itemization like cloth with strength on it. Entire specs being totally worthless by the end game and probably the biggest and most controversial difference, no dungeon finder. Leading you to spend a lot more time begging for a tank or healer in general chat, until you just roll one yourself and discover what it feels like for someone to actually want you around. At least until you wipe and get all the blame for your troubles. The most classic part of Classic WoW? Spending four hours to not finish Wailing Caverns. Climb your way up the difficulty curve and summit the leveling mountain as you prepare to enter the fabled endgame of WoW Classic, most of which involves more preparing, where you gather resistance gear and stack up mats for potions, then spend hours coordinating massive, unwieldy raids full of 30 to 40-somethings with responsibilities, all so you can see content that a retail WoW character can solo with auto-attacks until you run out of that stuff and then, I guess you just compare Thunder Furies with each other? Seriously, what is the plan for this? Do they put out Burning Crusade at some point? What are we even doing here? So dust off that keyboard and get ready to ruin your life all over again as you desperately try to recapture some fragment of the happiness that you felt back in 2006 when this game was new but instead drive home just how much closer to the grave you are now. At least I got to see Orgrimmar one last time. No one remember me. Starring. The guy who feels compelled to buff everyone he sees. The guy spending two hours trying to sell a single green in trade chat. The tank that spends the entire dungeon berating the group. The healer that literally never says a word. Your buddy who convinced you to play a 700-year-old MMO. The racists in the Baron's chat. And the sinking feeling that you're going to play 4,000 hours of this again. Wow, you're old. You know the best thing about getting the old world back? All of the little out-of-bounds dioramas on the flight paths. Look at those little guys. Tell us what you'd like to hear in my honest voice in the comments below. If there's an Area 51, then where's 1 till 50? All they do is yippity yap, yippity yap, even when they're alone, yippity yap. A long time ago, in a world once upon a time, coming to a theater near you. Takashi69 snitched on me for walking across the street without looking both ways. Get out of the bison's mouth, Soka.